All right, welcome to 2024. It's a new year. Welcome back to the channel. If it has been a while, but we're back. Um, today we're talking about Laravel Pulse. Laravel Pulse was announced in Laracon uh, Australia uh, last year. Um, it's quite amazing. So let's dive into it. Okay, so Laravel Pulse is actually uh, a tool that allows you to monitor the performance and usage of your uh, application. It will track uh, bottlenecks like slow jobs and endpoints and, and stuff like that. Um, but first of all, it is still in beta. So you should uh, take care of this in your Composure JSON file. Minimum stability set to beta and prefer stable set to true. So in your Composure JSON file here, down here at the bottom, I have minimum stability set to beta and prefer stable set to true. Um, after that, you can easily Composure require Laravel Pulse. I already did this um, before recording this video. Uh, so just run that. And after that, you need to publish your service provider for Pulse. So that is PHP Artisan uh, Vendor Publish dash dash provider and then the path through the Pulse service provider. You can, uh, you must actually run PHP Artisan Migrate after that. So Pulse has the needed database tables and publishing your config with uh, this command here, PHP Artisan Vendor Publish Tag Pulse Config. You can also publish your dashboard and things like that to customize it. Um, and you can even create your own tiles, but we're not covering that in this video. Um, so before recording this video, I created a few things, some things like routes. I have a very slow route. I have a custom job, with this, which is dispatching a job on the high queue. That's a different queue from the default one. We have a custom error, which will generate an error. We have uh, on our uh, homepage, we are taking a few users with a little more button and things like that. And we're also dispatching um, with a delay of one minute um, a process job on top of that. And we have three jobs actually here. So we have the process slow job, which will, which will sleep for 10 seconds. We have the process job, which is empty. And we have the custom job, which is also empty, but this is the one that we're going to run on the high queue. Um, then we have a test command, which will be ran in the scheduler, but that's for later. This will actually grab a random user, store it in the cache for 600 seconds, and then it will dispatch a job uh, randomly on the um, high queue, on the normal queue, or on the normal queue, but a, uh, a slow one with an, uh, a sleep for uh, an, uh, actually a delay of one minute. So um, let's actually head over to our application. So I will refresh this page. I have a few users loaded, so I must already have a dispatch of a job. And if I wait a few seconds here, boom, there it is. The job was um, yeah, dispatched, but it's not executed yet because our queue worker isn't running. Um, we can see a lot of different things here. We can see the cache that is being used. Um, we can see uh, the slow queries, exceptions, slow requests, slow jobs, and slow outgoing uh, requests. All of these tiles can be edited and adjusted and things like that. We can also monitor our um, server and that can be done with, um, well, we need our queue to run before we can do that. Uh, but first of all, we're going to authenticate a user. So all these are set to password, um, password. it's uh, in the normal seeder. Uh, so demo project login, there we go. So uh, password, there we go. So now I should see in my Laravel Pulse, oh, it's expired, there we go, um, that Boyer is indeed um, authenticated. He already made two requests um, and actually I could um, run into an error without an authenticated user, but in this case, I'm going to do it. So let's head over to custom error. So division by zero, and this is the cool part here of Pulse, in, in my opinion. I have an exception of uh, division by zero six seconds ago. It happened once. Um, and if I head over here and I uh, experience slow endpoints, nothing is here. Dispatching jobs, nothing, nothing. Oh, all right, he did already. And 
he also had one on the high queue. Making requests. All right, so let's head over to the slow, um, no, let's custom, what was it? Custom, um, custom job. There we go. So dispatched a custom job. Um, and this we can see already in, in Pulse as well. So we now dispatch the custom job and there we go. Now Boyer has three jobs dispatched. And for the sake of um, doing something with all these users, I'm going to log out this one and I'm going to uh, log in another one. Login. All right. There we go. Password. All right, so now we have Murazik uh, authenticated. If we wait a bit here, I need to making requests. Yes, do that, refresh. All right, so he already made two requests. Indeed, we have redirect in there. Um, and well, we still don't see any jobs uh, being processed, right? So we need to start up our uh, queue. So PHP artisan, artisan um, queue work and warp is suggesting me uh, to run not only the default queue but also the high queue and I'm using that as well so let's activate both of them and the, the jobs that are already in the queue are processed at this moment cool so let me just activate um, another tab here and PHP artisan schedule work there we go and this will actually let's head over to the code in kernel every minute dispatch the actually run the app test command and the test co test command is grabbing that one user storing it in the cache for 600 seconds and so on and so on and so on so yeah all right and you can see already the purple lines, the queues that were in the, 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 sorry, the jobs that were in the queues are already activated as well and ran and processed. So if I refresh again, um, I don't see any slow requests because, all right, I didn't perform any slow requests. So let's head over to the application again and run a slow route. And this will take it th its time because I set it to five seconds and there we go. And if I wait a bit here, there we go. Slow route in the closure took five seconds and so on. All right, and why isn't my job um, coming up here? Uh, because my queue didn't ran. No, it didn't ran so far it ran once so it we must wait one minute now to actually see it popping up here but in the meanwhile i'm also going to um well let's take another tab here and php artisan pulse check and this will actually check also the server um yeah thingies so now i have running on my bird's macbook pro uh, my CPU level, um, my memory that is used, and my storage that is being used. So you can actually, yeah, enlarge this with, with whatever you want, right? Uh, you can also switch to dark mode, which I kind of like also. Um, but let's just keep it set to, um, yeah. Yeah, you know what? Let, let's go dark here. Um, and all right. In the meanwhile, the slow process job was ran and it was detected as hey this is a slow job so well um, you can also change the time schedule so it lost six hours 24 hours and seven days so it's you can track yeah some more time if you want um, you can see that already two users were missing and hit rate of zero percent um, which is kind of logic um, and Murazik was experiencing that slow that endpoint as well. So that was it. Actually, I'm going to leave this for about an hour and I will walk my dog in the meanwhile and we'll see how all this is looking at yeah, an hour from now. All right, so I've been away for about 30 minutes, 40 minutes like that. Um, let's see, when did I leave? Uh, 15.09 and now we're 15.41. All right, so 
I've been away for about a half an hour. And in the meanwhile, um, the queue kept on running, the schedule kept on running. So actually the server was working in the background. Um, you can already see a few things here. Uh, I'm going to zoom in a bit. There we go. Like that. Nope, like that. Um, you can see the purple line of the high queue is actually on top of the gray one. That's because we are using um, queues without delays. In the default one, we are using delays. And that's why you can see a different uh, graph type here. Um, for example, some of them are uh, delayed by a minute, some of them are direct. Uh, so that's why they also not match in an, um, yeah, in just a, a, a shift of them. They are actually torn apart. Um, then we have our cache, which has some hit rate showing up. We have a few misses. We have a lot of users being loaded. Um, and we also have three of them that are hit that were still in the cache. So that's quite cool. Also, let me just zoom out again like that. We can see this awesome little tooltip here that if you head over to um, the memory part here, uh, that shows, uh, yeah, how much memory was used at which timestamp. And the same thing for the CPU. I think I would use this for sure in production environments um, whenever this is stable enough for production. Uh, it's still in beta, so I'm going to wait until it's officially released for production. And maybe I will, yeah, introduce it to, to some of our um, projects at work. Um, you can also hide the pulse routes uh, behind the gate, uh, so only admin users can actually see these kind of metrics. So yeah, I'm very excited about this. Um, I hope you are as well. I hope you learned a thing or two here. Uh, we have also have other news. Uh, we have our newsletter. We have also um, done our blog again. So we're started blogging again. So head over to bert.gent. I will put the the link in the description down below and subscribe to the newsletter as well. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, also do that by hitting the subscribe button down here and yeah, like and share. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.